The rules have changed. There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere in the shadows, they send us in to find him. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Lama six, going LARP. Welcome back to the channel, Den Members. You know, a while ago, I did a pretty popular, by my channel's standards, a pretty popular video on this knockoff ACOG. I've been wanting to do a second video in the kind of trash or bargain series. And I finally found a product that fits into this category of, is it good value or is it kind of trash and don't waste your money? Today we are doing our second video on night vision. Specifically, Amazon bought night vision goggles. And when I say Amazon bought night vision, because you can get legitimate night vision goggles that are mil spec or near mil spec standard, we're talking about the devices that cost anywhere between 100 and let's go $500. Having the tactical advantage of being able to see like it's daylight outside when it's near darkness is really appealing to a lot of people, including myself. So of course you start doing a little bit of research and immediately your heart sinks because you see that even a good monocle, a base level monocle costs around $3,000 or more. Binoculars, you're looking at $6,000 plus dollars. If you want white phosphorus instead of green phosphorus, and let's be honest, white phosphorus is superior, you're looking at $10,000 plus. So naturally, us pores are tempted by devices like these. This is a Night Fox Swift night vision goggle set. Night Fox is a British company, but let's be real here, this is made in China. And they have one of the better reviewed headsets on Amazon. I've said it before, I'm not usually one to bash on a product, but I am going to be unbiased and be very objective with this, especially when it comes to deploying this technology in a more tactical environment. TLDR, don't. This headset, these night vision goggles are not true night vision goggle technology, at least not in the way that the military uses. This device consists of a camera with infrared capable technology in it and two infrared lights. As I'm editing this video, I can already hear the potential comment saying, those aren't infrared lights and you can't see infrared. They are infrared emitters. And in this instance, just like on security cameras and other infrared emitters, when they're bright enough, they are pretty much lights. You can see red. They are infrared emitters that are activating the L cones if you want to get scientific. So we're going to be fine with calling these infrared lights. <laughs> On the back then, you have a little LCD screen. When I originally purchased it, I swear I saw somewhere that the display was 1080p, but I haven't been able to find that since. And honestly, the pixelation on the screen doesn't feel like 1080p. So essentially, this boils down to an infrared camera with infrared lights with an LCD display. All of that is wrapped up in a honestly well-constructed plastic casing with a nice little matte finish on it. It's just a glorified mobile IR camera with a viewer. I'll give them credit for the controls. They're actually really intuitive. To turn the headset on, you just press and hold for an inordinate amount of time the power button. That will flash a little instruction thing on the screen on how to adjust the focus, which is just this little knob on the bottom of the headset. Moving on from there, you have two buttons here. The bottom one here controls the backlight, so the screen brightness. The next button up is a zoom button. You can magnify digitally from 1x to 2x. On the right side here, you have two buttons. Both of those are for the infrared control. When you first turn on the headset, 
there is no IR engaged. So it's like looking through just a camera. The first bump on will turn on the infrared camera. Just having the infrared camera turned on will allow you to use any ambient light in the environment or any infrared light to illuminate the area. There are then seven more settings which involve the intensity of the infrared lights on the front of the headset. The higher the setting, the more infrared light that's emitted from the two lights on the front, which in theory should allow you to see further and more clearly in a more darkened environment. As for other features, it is powered by an internal lithium rechargeable battery and it's too rechargeable by USB right here in the back that covers up to keep the elements out of there. And as I said, and as you saw in the intro, I had this configured to be mounted to my bump helmet. I will say it comes with just a standard elastic head strap, but it does have the capability of being mounted to a helmet. The little mount point for, I think it's the Rhino mount, that had to be bought separately. It wasn't very expensive. I wanna say it was like $20. It also came with a neck strap that you could connect to the back of the headset. Before we get into the performance of this thing, if this is your first time visiting the Phantom Llamas Den, welcome. If you're liking this video, please consider hitting the like button. If you've seen some of our other content and you still haven't subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button. We've got a lot of awesome content coming. Gonna have a little more LARPing, but it's gonna be a little more patriotic. Again, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting the Phantom Llamas Den. So with all the features of this outlined, how does it work? And do I really think it's worth the $180 that I spent on it? It's kind of complicated. Yes, it works. The Amazon page says that these are effective out to 75 yards. These are not good out to 75 yards. I don't know if I would trust this even at 50 yards. Yes, it works. The camera in it is legitimately an infrared camera and it does let you see more clearly at night but the quality of the screen the quality of the camera the resolution is just not there and because it's a camera and lcd screen there is a lag there is a processing time lag with this device whereas you know with binoculars with a real optic with thermal or with real night vision goggles it's real time in the product's defense the lag doesn't feel nauseating i didn't have any issues walking around at night with these on that said there is a motion blur that is absolutely horrendous when there is motion blur you cannot mentally take note of your surroundings the same way as we are walking around in real life or for that matter real night vision it works it absolutely does work and it does what they say it does with the exception of maybe not reaching out 75 yards but there's definitely a technological limit on the application for this and that kind of leads into the next point what are these for on night fox's website and on amazon they say that this is for sport for hunting I don't think I would ever take this on a hunting trip. If I'm going to be hunting nightlife, I'm going to be using a thermal or I'm going to get a hold of a real night vision monocle. Between the motion blur and the lack of high resolution on the screen, I don't trust this to be able to help me identify targets when hunting. If you aren't comfortable using this hunting, I would 100% absolutely not recommend this for self-defense. Please do not rely on a piece of $180 night vision technology for self-defense, especially given the fact that there are, let's be honest, very bright infrared lights on the front there. So what is the use case? To be completely honest, it feels like an expensive toy. So I'm confused when I see the price tag of $180. Obviously it has real technology in it, so you have to pay for that. But it's just, it feels like it's out of the price range for somebody that's buying something like this for their child. To me, the whole 
budget night vision goggle market just seems very out of place. Would I recommend buying this? Well, most of the subscribers to this channel, I would say are here because they like real things. They like guns. They like self-defense. They love the Second Amendment. And you're probably here looking for real value for your hard-earned money. Don't buy Amazon night vision goggles. Take the $200 put it towards ammo, put it towards a nice optic. Heck, put it to a real monocle. I know it's only a tiny dent in the cost of a real night vision monocle, but I'll tell you, you are going to be far better served by something that you spent $3,000 on than a $200 piece of plastic and electronics. Now, if you're here because you're looking for just little gift ideas or ways to up your LARPing game, or you're here looking for paintball or airsoft gear, yeah, go go right ahead. I mean, knock yourselves out. Drop a comment uh, if there's any other kind of knockoff or budget version of gear that you would like to see me review on the channel. It really is just like an infrared security camera that's been mobilized. That's going to do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon to get notifications on future content, and comment in the comment section. As always, don't take life too seriously and make it a great day.